Twinkle Soul this week. We have a full moon in glorious Pisces. I do love a Pisces moon because it brings about a peak experience of our intuition, our psychic ability, strange coincidences. It's very empathetic, it links us to other people and it also reveals any fakery that's going on. Here's your weekly astrology. Hi Sagittarius, how are you doing? This week has very intense energy. At the beginning of the week, there's a tussle between Venus, the planet of love, and opposing Saturn, the Lord of Responsibility. It may be that you want freedom to do what you want, but are you being honest with everyone involved? Or do you feel that there's someone in your life that is taking their freedom and not being honest with you? This could come to a head this week, but really there's a deeper reflection going on. If you are not telling someone the truth, it's unusual for you because you're the truth monster, Maybe you don't want to hurt their feelings. Maybe you're attracted to someone else. Whatever it is, you've got to be, well, I suggest you're true to yourself this week because there are solutions. There are new pathways opening for, for you. But if you're just standing there like this, refusing to kind of deal with the situation, nobody likes to deal with emotional situations because it, you know, it causes us upset. Other people can be upset. But if there's a situation in your life that you need to confront, it's likely to happen this week. And actually, Mercury the following day is trying retrograde Saturn and you're very practical that day. You may even be negotiating a deal or discussing something about your future when it comes to your career. So there are lots of positive things going on. The full moon is all around your sense of home and family and there's a peak experience. You may be moving, you may be changing, you may be going for a, a family meal, you may be making some huge shift or even have a huge happy experience connected to your home and family. But also you're being urged to look at the details from the past. Uranus is saying to you, okay, it's time to go backwards. And, and uh, well, not time to go backwards. The past is gonna come and join you in the future and bring a little surprise and with it a revelation for you this week. Mercury is shifting signs and going into your zone of uh, community and, and group beliefs. So I can see the wind is making the camera go like this, so I hope I'm not making you seasick. Um, I've got the doors open behind. So you're great if you want to communicate online. You're great if you want to communicate with groups of people. There's this really strong, solid sense of union around you. You feel part of the whole. It's also a particularly good time to say affirmations, to do a bit of cosmic ordering, to sprinkle your seeds and desires out into the cosmos because the cosmos is listening. When we're feeling like that, we become a beacon and, and we're sort of transmitting our desires and, and the right energies pick it up and are drawn to us. So use that skill this week. Venus is making you very frisky. It's like you're adventurous uh, when it comes to love. You'd be easily bored. If you're in a relationship that's very routine and very humdrum, there's a part of you that's got a call to the wild this week. If you're single, you've got a call to the wild. You're attracted to people who are unique and unusual, well-traveled in a different culture or from a very different background. That's what excites you this week. You, you need to kind of shake it up. But let's see what the tarot has to say for you, my fabulous Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. A lot, a lot of, we've had a lot of this this week uh, for the other signs. We've got the Ace of Cups. There's an emotional, fabulous situation coming into your life. There's a peak experience. And I would imagine that's likely to happen around the full moon. And there's an offer coming to you, indicated by um, the Mercury trying to Saturn. So somebody's offering you something. When you initially receive this offer, you might be like, meh, what's that? That's too small a world in that person's paw. What are they offering me? But you know what? I mean, I always see this card different to other people, but it's always worked for me. If somebody offers you something, it could be a much bigger world, a much bigger opportunity than you originally think. In fact, it could lead to that happiness. You're going through a creative rebirth at the moment. You're seeing the world in a beautiful way. You're starting to connect again spiritually. Maybe you were cut off and you lost sight of your heart chakra and you stopped feeling because you were under so much pressure. But you know what? Whenever I get this card, I see victory. You're on top of the hill. There are all these rods coming towards you, but you are winning. Take care, gorgeous. Come and see me on Facebook where I do live tarot. And um, you may get an individual one with me or Instagram at Michelle Knight. So much love. Enjoy the full moon. Hi, gorgeous. Before you 
go check out my new film on my fabulous psychics. A lot of people ask me for readings, I don't do them anymore, but for over 20 years, I've had an award-winning team of psychics that I truly hand pick. So check out the film, let me know what you think. The purpose of a reading, I feel, is very much to inspire people and to empower people. It's about hope, it's about guidance. Using a phone or being with you, it will be the same because the matter is spiritual. It's very important for me that the client feels spirit with them. So it was a psychic reading. I don't remember the readings right after because it's not myself giving that, it's actually coming from spirit. And it is a bit like a three-way conversation. I've got the person on the phone, I've got me, and I've got another voice that's telling me things. I even shock myself, things that I come up with, and I think, how did I, I get that? I'm channeling messages only for, for one purpose, to, to help people. It's been able to help somebody have a map back to where they've got lost from. My priority is to connect to your truth and have the best life that you can have. I think in my readings people feel a sense of a safe space where they can really be themselves, let go. You need a feeling of being understood because reading should be empowering. I will make sure when the reading is finished that you're happy with everything. I, I couldn't do anything else. It's, it's, it's part of who I am. It's what I came here for, obviously. And when they come back and tell you they've got their dream job or the love of their life, that really makes me feel like I'm valued. I love to hear a sigh of relief. A lot of weight has been lifted off their shoulders. We have the answers that we are looking for within ourselves. I know I have the tools to help you. Everything begins and ends with you.